My name is Zhao Ying Summers. Don't worry about pronouncing Zhao Ying. My iPhone auto crack Zhao Ying to annoying. People also ask me, why don't you have a Chinese last name? I had one before I got married. I was a hoe. Hi guys, welcome to the Tiger Milk podcast. Do you miss me? Also, the clothing brand. Make sure you sponsor me. Look at this. I'm. Look at this. Yeah, sponsor me. I I like clothes <laughs> more than the husbands. Oh my god. I am so excited to introduce、uh, my guest today. She is a superstar. She is gorgeous. She's a she's prettier than Ellen ever was, and she's Ellen if Ellen is prettier and less countier. Also, she's funny as hell, and she is by coastal. She you see her all over TV, social media. Very very funny. Very very funny. I I think I'm in love. Are you ready for the one and the only? I'm a Wayla man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh my god! And thank you for matching. We matched colors. We weren't even planning yeah. on it. Yeah, we matched. Also, like my gold dress matched your gold hair. Which yes, is I thought I was just like you're about to say has, my gold dress. I was like no gold dress, but she's like hell no. This is my favorite color.、This、I love my、this. lucky color. Well,、blue. it goes with your eye. That's why. Yeah, it amazing. Look, it pop a little. Your、bit. eye pops.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's my favorite one. Yeah, it's、uh, it's crazy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Do you have any、How's, resolution? Resolution is like no more babies. <laughs> That's my resolution. <laughs> the only baby I'm getting is baby Botox. <laughs> Baby, so what is right before we? I came in. We were talking about Botox because I love Botox. What's baby Botox? Where it's like a microdose? Yeah, a microdose. It、mm. just, it just, it's like a, it's like a, like a, a、um, foreplay. Oh, like, like a, foreplay for fillers. Yes, like it's, it's, it just is. You don't feel like a, a old horror. Okay, got it. But、uh, you feel. Aroused and alert, and like、uh, people don't know what happened to you. You're、right. like, oh, I'm just,、uh, I'm a vegan now.、Mm. I'm gluten free, and I just,、uh, I'm, I'm taking care of my body. I'm watching what's going inside. Right. Actually, you are just、uh, living your whole life and getting your baby Botox. That is a good like, den- it's like a denial thing a little bit too, because like you don't have to see how much Botox you have to get、yeah. in one sitting. You get to spread it out. Spread out, yes. Because I go in just for the mother load now, but I feel、yeah. like. Getting. Yeah, I think baby Botox has been saving my life. Ooh, I yeah. Like after I had the babies, like breastfeeding is bad for you. Not just because you should not have babies; it's bad for you. Also because like if you breastfeed, you can't sleep. There's no time to sleep, and you're always looking down at the baby. Your eye drops. I mean, especially、really? for the, like the my my chinky eyes. They just like I don't look at Mulan anymore. I look at Mulan upside down. Like it's like this. So. I was like hell no, so I just、uh, you started doing it after you had the babies. Yeah, yeah, before before too, but、uh, like after I had baby, it's a must. But did, then did you feel like you couldn't look down when you had it? Because sometimes there's some facial expressions I just can't make. Yeah, I think、uh, when you have the mother load. Yes. Yeah, you can't have sympathy. Yeah, you can't have. That's what it is. I can't have. I sympathize with you, but my Botox doesn't allow me to do that <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I don't feel bad. I feel bad for you. You are poor.、Right. You have no heart. Like,、yeah. well, the Botox doesn't allow yeah. me yeah. to show my emotions. Yes. So I I think Botox is baby Botox is the best thing ever happened to humankind. Okay, I'm yeah, down to I'll start doing it in baby it things because I do Botox and fillers and always cracks me up because people will be like, why you don't need it? I'm like you can. Only- That's why I get it because I have it. That's why、right. I need it exactly. Yeah, I hate when people judge people when they get work done. I'm like I didn't judge you with your fucking like a so many things like like a crawl feet like what's that like. A- Crawl feet, right? No judgments if you don't do it. No judgments if you、yeah. do it. I、yeah. even like got tipped off to it because I was in LA and I was in some. We were doing hair and makeup, and I remember I felt self conscious because I used to have bad acne.、Uh-huh. Like I had cystic, cystic acne, and I was like, the makeup artist was covering it up, and I looked over and I was really looking at the girl getting makeup done next to me, and I was like, she's older. She was older than me, and she had no lines. And I was looking at her because I was looking at the skin for acne, but I was like, and she has no lines. And I asked my friend, I was like. How is it? And my friend was like, "It's LA. She gets Botox,、mm-hmm. and that's when I started going." Oh,、yes. and I said, Lo- "Fill me up, load、yes. me up." Yes, I, I just think、uh, people should not judge other people for their decisions. You know, you just live live life. Just What about a BBL?、Them. Those are Brazilian butt lifts. So tempting. You've thought about it. I I I was thinking about it because you can't just, sit down. Now it's like、uh, for me, like if I want to get my ass bigger, I only want to use my own fat. But then I'm my depression helped me so much with losing weight. Like I don't have a lot of fat left to fill fill me in. I don't want I don't want implants. 
Right. I feel like implants is just the, it's made in China. <laughs> and that is I'm made in China right not it's, good like, I'm not good made in China. yeah I'm not good I'm like made. I'm gonna need some from Connecticut yeah <laughs> yeah I, I, I want Ivy League uh, yeah I, I just I need I, I can't have uh, I can't have uh, foreign objects mm. I mean other than you know sure, sure, sure. but <laughs> in my body I just feel like I want my own fat but now I lost all my fat from uh, my depression how much how much like fat are we talking I think you need to like because the there's only like a, a quarter of the fat would survive. Mm. If you have the healthy fat, it's mm-hmm. like half, less than half would survive. So if you got a boob job, you had a double D, you end up with a B minus. Mm. You know, like you have to have enough fat to go there. And if you are a fatter person, your fat doesn't count because like a, like a fat girl say, I have nice boobs. I'm like, a, it's like a skinny guy saying has abs. You right, don't, you right. Don't. Because when you use the fat, they don't survive. Mm-hmm. Did I just fashion people? I don't, Thinks you didn't say, and then they don't survive because they shouldn't. Like you didn't say, you didn't <laughs> I just say don't say, because like uh, you can transfer all the fat to this here, but then they just uh, they they leave you because right. the good things they leave us. Right, I get it. And the toxic people they stay. Taxes people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toxic. Oh, toxic people. No, Texas. I say taxes and people. Texas, stay like, Texas, oh, Texans, stay. Texans don't like us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we are not welcome. Maybe Austin, but not my, everybody else. My girlfriend wants to get a Brazilian butt. Brazilian butt lift, but I think it's such I a bad idea. I don't think she should have because she can't sit, right? Can't sit. I saw someone she on TikTok got yeah. like brought out of a, a flight on a stretcher because they sat on their Brazilian butt lift and obviously it didn't go well, so they had to get brought out. Oh my god, on a stretcher. Yeah, I I just I want to feel here a little bit like, but I don't have fat left mm. on me, so it's okay. I life is not perfect, you know. I don't have to be perfect. I say that every morning. Yeah. I did win the best ass in a bluegrass competition in a strip club when I was in Kentucky. Really? What's a bluegrass competition? The best ass in the bluegrass in Kentucky in a strip club. They have this wow. competition annually. And the winner wins like, I think, four grand or something. Oh, yeah. And my, my, my one of my friends, she's a stripper. She's a stripper and she's a stripper. She's stripping for her boyfriend who's in the army. Mm. Uh, so she just like, you should do this. I'm like, no, I, I can't. I can't do this. I don't have... I don't have the best ass in the bluegrass. Right. She's like You never know, you know. Or just Listen to bluegrass music? Because I feel like that'd be yeah. hard to strip to. Because yeah. it's in bluegrass well, you know how music. To strip, like, they, they don't want to, us to strip because we, we don't have the body for it. They just want you to walk down the, uh, the, okay. the stage with a bikini. Right. And then you would answer a question. What would you do with the money you won tonight? The loudest, loudest cheer gets the money. Ooh. What do so, you say? I mean, the first girl, she's a beautiful black girl with the best ass in the bluegrass. Mm. And she is a nursing student. And she was saying she was going to pay her tuition and take care of her mom. Right. And so, but it's, which is very heartwarming, but she's saying it at a strip club. So they're like, eh. the second one is like, I want to save all the dogs in the shelters. I'm like, they are not even delicious. Right. You're like, I'm going to take that money and get a car so I can drive around and fuck all you and blow all your brains that's out. Close. Like, yeah! That's close. I said, that, I, so if I went, yeah. yeah, that's very close. We, right. we, we are in the same, same page. I said, that, if you scream for me, I'm buying everybody two shots. I won. Nice. With this skanky ass, I won. Nice, nice. Yeah. Nice. Life is about, you know, it's not about, um, Looking the best. I get it. I say that every morning. Too. It really is not about looking the best. I clearly didn't have the best ass in the bluegrass, but I did want the best ass Thank in the bluegrass. God, they didn't make you strip to bluegrass music. I, I know. I, 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 I mean, they wouldn't be happy because I didn't know you had to shave your pussy. Like, I, you know, in China, we like the girl. That's mm, why we. I didn't know that. Like, when you get married, your wife's uh, pubes can just uh, social distance you from her. <laughs> like, morning, honey. Ooh. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I just, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm glad I didn't strip because right. it would be like, a, whoa! Maybe they would have liked it. It would be like, a, maybe they would have been, maybe uh, some people, maybe maybe like because so many people now do shave, so then they would be into that. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe there'd be like a novelty. I, I, maybe. Maybe. I mean, yeah, that would be like, a, I don't know, that would be pretty crazy. You keep them at a distance. Yeah, I'm mean like, a, he can't get closer to me. To protect you. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's why I'm still a virgin. It's because my pubes are so big. Right. <laughs> So I won that. That's pretty cute. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's, I'm very proud. Did you end up buying them all shots or what did you do with the... I actually, I, I did a cheap way. I sent, the, I sent my friend and go to uh, Walgreens to buy a fat bottle of vodka and tip the bartender $200. That and is I keep so all the money. smart. I'm, I'm so Chinese. That's hustling. I'm looking for a gold man. That's so smart. A husband. That's smart. Hustling. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hustling. Uh, they're going to like charge me a thousand dollars. Right. But Clever. No. When I get depressed, I don't um, lose weight. When I get depressed, I always stress eat. Stress eat. Yeah. And when I f- if I feel sad, I ne- I've never been one of those people that's like, oh, I lose weight when I'm depressed. I always like stress eat from depression. 
Oh, the, we are very different. Yeah. I just, uh, I just uh, stop eating. I'm just too busy about how do I get more attention to feel better. I get that. And stop p- making videos and post videos. Uh, that's. You post more, you post less of them? I post more. When you're I, depressed? I just I just call my assistant. I'm like... We have nothing me. left. Yeah. <laughs> you, get, you, you, you post the video from two years ago. Just do it. Oh, wait. Actually, I do that when I'm depressed a lot, too. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, it just... Like, it just yeah, just do it. There's there's yeah. nothing left there's for us. No like, there's, we are not on TV. Jimmy Kim don't want me. Like yeah. there's nobody want me. My husband left me. Plural. Like it's it's not happening. Like it's just post post videos. That's the only thing I got. That's I say that too because it's it, everything <laughs> feels like a crisis all the time. So I'll be like, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna post videos like in a cool, calm stream, yeah. and then you, you look for that dopamine hit. So say yeah. one does well or say one doesn't well. I'm like. Post the rest of them. And then yeah. I've got too much control because I can also do it from my phone. So I'm just yeah. Pew, 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 yeah. Pew. Yeah, I got to be stopped. Yeah, I feel like uh, our, our video, when we don't have uh, a good show or like uh, enough time that uh, like a lot of shows we want, uh, like we just sit home and post our videos. Sure. Oh, we, yeah. When they hit, we go to a million views. I'm like, uh, that's still my first it. born. Yes, yes. Still got it. That's feel like the first baby. Totally. Yeah. I'll do it in react. I will definitely do it in reaction to something. Like, or something I still got happens, it. Or if I don't get something or whatever, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to show you like post, post, like watch yeah. me eating a cheese and not post, post. This is the content they need or like, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. And then I just post and post. I want to yeah. take a month. I want to get things planned out so I could take like two months off of social media. I, know. I don't know if I could do it. It's the first think. thing I do in the morning. That's my. New I wake up in the morning in my bed, naked, on my phone, yes. looking for the best clip I can post in the it's morning. It's my higher power. Almost, I re- yeah. right away. I wake up and I, I start doing the pat, and then my girlfriend's like, "Oh," or, and then well, maybe I'll hug her, but she knows I'm reaching. I'm looking for my phone. Yeah, that's get it. Yeah, and, and then I. But my goal this year is the first thing I do in the morning, not be the phone. I know. I feel like it's first thing in the morning, just like. A, Could you imagine meditation and take a walk? That'll be so Could good. You, like. If I could meditate and take a walk in the morning, I think my life would be radically. Different. I think I'll become a star if I can do that. You think so? I think I'll just become a star if I just manage to like literally. You can take, do it. Take a meditation and take a walk. Do it. Do it. Just tomorrow. kiss my son on the way out. I'm like, <laughs> Stay away from me, mommy. I miss you. <laughs> Showbiz baby. God, you miss me. I have two million followers missing me too. How old is your son? I mean, I don't remember. I think it's like he's almost four on February seventh. Yeah. Cute. My my daughter, she's two. Nice. Yeah, she's so cute. young. Yeah, she's young. Yeah, they. Yeah, I learn from my mistakes. Stop at one is a good idea. It's okay. I'm writing a lot of new abortion jokes. Yeah, I, I feel I, very inspired. Like I, every time they do something, I know. Bothers you. I just. I'm like. A, I'm like. A, I'm. Uh, I'm writing all the new abortion jokes, and they they bomb on stage. I'm like, mm. I should have a plan B. Should have had a plan B. Right. I should have aborted these. Yeah, and then I go. Um, that's a dad joke. Just kidding. No, we don't know who the father is. Then I say, abortion is the only time I let the doctor pull out of me. Hey, that's <laughs> a good one. I like that. That's right? a good one. It's dark. That's do you people have you ever had someone come up to you after a show and be like, hey, like don't joke about abortion? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They were like, uh, uh, God, you know, like uh, you, like it's it's not okay to kill babies. I'm like, uh, it is okay to kill them until they are 21. It is now. Well, yeah, can you imagine if you do something awful, you be you be killed? Sure, they will just behave. People are gonna be better. You think so? Just I think so. Yeah, I think so. The only thing legal should be baby Botox. But what about if someone is like found guilty and they didn't do it? Well, because I always used to say whatever is cheaper. Like I'm like whatever is cheaper, it keeps people alive. It's cheaper. But then like the, I don't know, it gets all convoluted. Yeah, and messed up. Yeah, I'm not necessarily like anti killing people. Oh, that's not the problem. It's more like what if we fucked up. I don't, like, I'm too stupid to handle any of it. I, I, I remember like uh, that person's like, uh, "How dare you? It's awful, you know. Like you are like awful. Like how dare you? You have uh, you have no sympathy. You are a bad person. Oh, Jesus, Jesus is gonna punish you. Like, how do you know me so well in such a short amount? I just of time. thought I'm I'm like, uh, imagine if it's legal to kill the babies. I'll be dead in the dumpster. I won't. You won't have this Chinese woman with an accent talking shit about Jesus. Mm. They were like, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Like, but thank you for the comment. Please, yeah, uh, like and comment, subscribe. Like, yeah, like and subscribe and just like help my algorithm just uh, keep hitting on me. Totally. Tell me how ugly I am. I need to know that. People say that. Oh my god, they tell they tell me like uh, you were nicer and uh, sweet when you were very skinny. We would go through your uh, TikTok. Then you got married and you had babies. You got very fat. You become a bitter bitch. 
Damn. Now, did so, now was it only because I've had there was like one comment where someone said something mean, and I kept like saying like that was like I like everybody says I look like an unhealthy Pete Davidson. Everybody, but it was really just this one person, and I like <laughs> that's the comment I saw. Yeah. Do you? I do that all yeah, the time. Was it that? Or was it, it, they always have the best and you joke. Search for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was like, that's so it funny. Makes the it made best me joke. laugh. Right. I, I, makes, I liked it. I'm like, I am. It makes Pete. the best joke. It's a good one. Yeah. But it's not like like were tons of people saying it. Yeah, I know. Feel like tons of people. When the like when like people who is actually funny, they sure. say the most toxic thing and totally. it caught our eye. I guess this person is like, a, you know, now you are a fat bitter bitch. I'm like, how hey. dare you? You don't even know me. When I was skinny, I was a skinny bitter bitch. I've always right. been a bitter bitch. Like, right. I didn't change because I got fat. Right. I've always <laughs> been a bitter bitch. When I was skinny, I was very bitter. Right. That's what I said, and it's it's the truth. But uh, when somebody is very smart, they write something very toxic, and they roast us well. Also, we, we don't have info on them to go back and forth with. Yeah. So exactly. it's not like we can go pull from. You know what I mean? They've got all the it's, info. It's sticking in the world. your head. Right. I remember like the. <laughs> But then also sometimes they're like kids. Have you ever like, I've snapped. Yeah. I was going back and forth with someone and then I went to their page and then I was like, this is like an eight year old. So I quickly I deleted everything I wrote. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when I was like, I got to stop. If someone says something I don't like. I uh, you was on stage. We was on stage. This was on TikTok. Yeah. So I was TikTok going back and forth toxic. and then I was like, afterwards I was, I went to their page and then I was like, this is a kid. They're oh probably 12 years old. So then I just I like blocked them and yeah. deleted it. Yeah. The kids are Get out. loud. Yeah. The kids are crazy little fuckers I know they, but also I appreciate them you know whatever yeah well they keep writing it's good for the algorithm I, I, my only True. guy is algorithm like True. if you are having my algorithm you are my follower even though True. you hate me you are True. supporting me and my family and my, my daughter's diapers I'm Absolutely. kidding my daughter don't deserve diapers my son's diapers right <sighs> totally I'm sexist <laughs> yeah, I don't believe uh, women and men are equal I feel like women we have to work harder and it just to kick them to the curb it's not equal, so we have to work harder than them so we can do that. If you think you just say to your daughter, women and men are equal, you are lying to her. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to know that. I said, you have to work extra hard to get uh, the same thing your dumb brother is getting. Sure. I'm sorry, that's the truth. My, my, my fans were like, you can't say that. You are not a feminist. Women and men are equal. It is not equal. It just is not. It's just, it's not equal yet. I think probably the trick is like saying, setting it up like that the brothers, because you could be like, if the brother is dumb or not dumb, either way, it'll be a little, it'll be easier for him. Yeah, too. exactly. Because he's a man. It just, the things are catered to him. You are a woman. Everything, people hate you. Sure. People hate women. They just hate women. You are beautiful. They hate you. You're ugly. They hate you. Smart. They hate you. Dumb. They hate you. Like you just say, they just 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 love yourself. They are gonna hate you no matter what. And they, and they, we are not equal with men. And we just have to be more powerful than them. And uh, uh, fuck their sons. If they once you once you get once they get to that point where they're like moving forward though, and it does click in, that work ethic will then help keep pushing. Because sometimes, maybe it's just a naive way of coping with stuff, but I'll be like, whatever makes you different, make, whatever makes it harder for you in the beginning helps you stand out more in the So end. good, so good. If you can push through to get to that. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? And maybe that's just me, like something I'll say to like cope with stuff, but mm -hmm. I do think there is, I do believe it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like if it might be harder, but then if it can... If you can push through, then you will be That's hard the for that. Yeah, the resilience is uh, is very attractive. Mm -hmm. Resilience, uh, people can feel that. Yeah, they sure. they relate to people who's like when you root for things them. are land, like things are handed to you. Like uh, people with rich parents, they can't keep the money because they didn't earn it. They just can't keep right. it. They end up just like they they, they just uh, end up fuck up. Right. We have to earn everything. Sure. I feel like I I take a two step forward and somebody kick me on my face. I have to go one step. So I end up making like a, just a tiny little movement. I'm trying mm -hmm. trying to move forward and I always get denied and rejected and uh, people tell me awful things and I just keep going. I have yep. to I have to feed the kids. You know. Totally. I don't have a choice. Do you you know Cat Williams, the comedian? Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Um, he had, I can send you a link of him afterwards. He's mm -hmm. one of my favorite like comics. Is like older clips, but he has this joke, and I'm gonna totally paraphrase it. I'm just pulling a little clip, but it reminds me of this where he just talks about he's I think he's talking about a tiger in the zoo and the tiger trying to get out. But what relates to this is he'll be like trying shit and trying shit don't work. Trying shit and trying shit don't work. Trying shit and trying shit don't work. And he just talks about relating to the tiger. Mm. So it makes me think of that where you're like I trying shit and trying shit, but then you move something here and move something there, and then just keep on pushing. Yeah, yeah that's I, I can. I what really, else can you do? You know, I really people would look at us be like, oh my god, you guys have things figured out. But then we are just here, like looking at the next mountain, be like, yeah, that. fuck, yeah. I know. If I'm like, if I've got it figured out, we're in real trouble. 
You are doing amazing. I'm doing all right. Yeah. I'm trying. You know, it's a process. Yeah, I, 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 like, I hustle every day. I work so hard. And uh, did you take a break over the vacation at all? No, I am so excited the vacation. I can work more. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. Yeah, totally. I just, like, I just, uh, I didn't. Uh, I've been doing comedy for three and a half years. Oh, so that's like very short amount of time. Yeah, I have to. I have to work extremely harder to catch up. Totally. With all the things that, uh, all the time that I lost. I didn't want how, doing it. That's how I felt. And I feel like that's how people feel. You almost like always feel that way. Like it's always like, because it's like you got to, I think with stand up too, because it happens in real time at night. Yeah. So you're like, oh, I know what's working, what's not working. I know how, it, and it's always different. But so it makes you be like, want to get that figure it out quick because it's just so intense all the time yes and i just three years is nothing though i mean that I relatively it's it, it's a lot mm -hmm. but it's also in nothing the scheme of it not it's like uh, godfrey says like how many years have been doing comedy is how old you are in comedy he's mm -hmm. like you are a toddler you are doing diapers right i'm like i have to be the toddler who has superpower i guess mm -hmm. yeah I, I just i the only thing i can do is to write more jokes get on more spots. Yep. And that's why I bought clubs so I can be on my, I can be doing 20 shows a week mm -hmm. to, match, to catch up with the time that I'm not doing it. Yeah, which is tougher to do in LA to get that much stage time. Yeah, so I bought my own club. Good for you. That's also what happens if you don't matter for love. Mm -hmm. you buy your clubs if you want one. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I... So is it your ex-husband's club too? Well, it's, um, I, he didn't let me keep it because the pandemic, he's like, I don't want to pay rent so I have to sell my Birkin bags to the mm -hmm. real, real to pay rent. So technically it's mine. Great. I, yeah. Uh, I, I just love that place so much because I, I want to keep it because uh, actually this uh, Sunday I have uh, a lesbian show. Like mm. I just book crazy shows. Like uh, people are like, you can't, it can't sell. You can't have two Jewish lesbians to be on a show. It's not going to sell. It sold out. Great. Yeah. And I then think like, that's an example. Think people, I pay the rent, bitch. And, and people saying, oh, you can't do that. Then people, you know, maybe it's not the majority of people that want to see that. But then the people that do want to see that really want to see that. Yeah. You know, because they're yeah. like, I don't get to see that everywhere. Yeah. Those, you know? Yeah. I mean, is, 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 they are funny. Like Robbie Huffman and mm -hmm. uh, Ali Colbert. Like they are funny. Oh, Ali Colbert's great. As fuck. I'm buddies with And Ali. they should great. be doing, I want them, I want the people like us to be doing 30 minutes because they are doing 30 minutes each. Cool. Actually, they'll be probably doing 45 because nice. there's only two of them. Nice. So I want them to, because it's so hard to be doing your 40 minutes in LA. It's right. impossible. But uh, I want it to be possible for us to just to do our 45 minutes, be like, wow, women are fucking funny. And also like uh, we have the all gay show and like I have uh, a trans centric show mm. or like a black girl magic show. Mm. Like, it, or like uh, I have one show with like a uh, five white guy and one black woman hosting, roasting everybody. Like a nice. toxic white guy show. Nice. With like uh, a woman, like uh, like uh, like you or me or like uh, just we host it. Yeah. And we do more time and we just kind of roast each, roast all of them. I've never got into doing the roast. I did one once. Mm -hmm. It was way back. It was like a while ago. It was for the Howard Stern has like a rat pack. And for some reason they wanted me to roast them. And I was like, I'll only do it if I can hire someone to help me write these jokes. I was mm -hmm. like, I don't write roasty. Like I can be an asshole, but I don't do like ro jokes about it. You were funny when you roast yourself. Well, I tried doing the roast and I didn't know who all the different, it was kind of a mess. And then I judged one once, but I just never got into doing it's just not how my like brain works. So I, I've watched them before and I like watching them, but I've never got into doing the road. I think you're gonna be very good at it. I I've been asked to do them since then and I've I've passed just because I'm like, I don't I don't know, it's not my brain doesn't like gel with it. I I, like I can be mean. Let's be mean about somebody. Somebody is triggering me right now. Like I'm I just be like, Oh, you're a fucking out. loser. But they're like, No, make it a roast, make it a roast. Like I don't Prince you know. Harry is kidding me. Prince What's he Harry. Doing? He just released his book, uh, Spare, <laughs> pitching about uh, his how his brother physically attacked him, how how Prince Williams uh, grabbed me by my collar, ripped my neck, rip off my necklace, and knocked me on the floor. I'm I mean, like, it was his brother. That's that's what the brotherhood right. is called. Like, right. He's bitching about his brother being abusive. I'm like, a, I'm like, a, I hope. Like that's that's how you know two brothers are close. Sure. Like, are you bragging about how close you are to the future king? Like, what is this? Like, well, based on my experiences, maybe they are fucking. Like, I that would be an OnlyFans. I would subscribe. Oh my god, I love yeah. that. Could and then I'm imagine? like, I'm like, this book is. I mean, this book is called The Spare. Like, uh, Willie landed a strike. Right. And I'm like, oh my god, is this actually a erotic novel that? Uh, 
who Harry, think, who, Harry, who, who would be the top? If I think who, that Harry would be the bottom, I think so. And also, like uh, Harry is also Megan's only fan. <laughs> I haven't seen the documentary on Netflix yet. I don't want you, but I, I want you just to laugh at it. I'm curious. I mean, I I had I didn't follow it too. I'm surprised he came out with a book. I'd be. I mean, I know he's like cut off from. I mean, he, he yeah. I mean, I'm not that surprised he came out with the book. I'm surprised he came out with. I'm curious that he's talking about ta- that his brother like. Does he use the word abusive in it? Well, physically attacked him. That would be abusive. Damn, that's brotherhood. Right. That means that he care about you. Oh, for the amount of things I tried to put like shove in my sister's ear, like yeah. we're just being kids. Yeah. And it's just, it's he's he's literally bitching about that. I'm right. Like, oh my god. People I could, hate Megan. I I don't I I have liked her from the interviews I saw. I thought they were kind of cute. Is I don't know if that's like they are cute on the book. They're cute in the book too. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, she, she has. Uh, I mean, he follows her around like a puppy right. who's overdosed on Benadryl. I mean, <laughs> he loves her. Oh yeah, he loves her. Yeah, he had a Holly Berry's poster in his dorm. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. maybe he has a type. Would you rather watch her and him have sex or Prince William? Definitely, I would never want to watch Prince William and his wife have sex ever. No, like you couldn't pay me. I think. Uh, I, I think, wouldn't uh, really want to watch. Any I movie. think. Uh, I think uh, uh, Megan and Harry has this toxic relationship that she's a narcissist, abusive, county cunt, and he is just like they probably have the best sex ever. Probably. I look at the that. kids. She's like choking him. Yeah, the like kids are so cute. Yeah. When you have like a violent, uh, wild sex, you make right. beautiful children. Right. Look how pretty the kids are. They're beautiful kids. Beautiful children. So I think they have the best sex. I think they probably have really. I could see they. Got, they I mean, something is making them be like fuck the royal family or whatever. Besides the like institutionalized racism and all that stuff mm-hmm, yeah. you're getting out of there she married the most racist family in the world uh, and she's bitching about it I'm like uh, what I gotta what? watch the I gotta watch the it's like when I marry a Shanghainese men I'd be like why are you cheap <laughs> I didn't know that was a Chinese man's stereotype Shanghainese Shanghainese men are I didn't know that was a stereotype the Beijing people from Beijing the north they are like more generous I don't know any of the stereotypes about Chinese men I mean because in, in Maine I just didn't interact with many people from China well, you are just not into dicks the, <laughs> that's also probably one thing you don't know about Chinese men. <laughs> I don't know about. I mean, I've known. I don't man. know what the stere- oh. stereotype. Oh, because we have like you have the stereotype of like New York and LA. Like uh, in New York, uh, like in LA, you can have a butt plug in your know, asshole and uh, radio stars and just like uh, I don't know, have crystals and just like uh, meditate with a vegan bread in your mouth and sure. still being straight. But in New York, you walk slow, you're gay. True. That is true. That's just so true. <laughs> right? Gay! <Like, Hey! laughs> Beat up faggot! And you're like, you're gay too! And you're like, it's like everybody, it's a gay guy calling him that. Like, that faggot was walking too slow. That's true. <laughs> and meanwhile, in LA, a straight guy is like, yeah, I have sex with my male roommate, but yeah. I'm straight. And you're like, I, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Or it seems like in LA, everybody's like kind of queer, maybe. Or yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I almost feel like being like, it's okay to be straight, guys. Like, because there's so many people that are like, um, mm-hmm. the, I don't know if they're doing it as an I ally. love that. You're the funniest thing ever. You just said the funniest thing ever. It is okay to be it's straight. It's okay to be straight. I That's think I want to. the funniest give shit that ever. Message to, oh like, my God. I don't know if they need to like. Hear it should be your next special. Person. You should be your next special. It's okay. You'll be the straight. expert on it. Yeah. It's okay to be straight, guys. It's okay. I it's okay. I'm like, it's okay. That is a powerful message. People are trying to be like a. So many things. Yeah. Or feeling like guilty. I mean, I don't know if it's just like the tic- TikTok generations. Like, who was I talking to? I was talking to someone and they were talking about how their niece, like someone was saying their niece, like these kids at school were saying the niece was appropriating gay culture and like it wasn't fair for her to do until she came out as gay but it was like gay kids bullying her that she wasn't gay because like she was wearing like a flannel and I, and these were kids like in like a young class I was like this is crazy it's so crazy it's crazy you need to chill the fuck out like seriously like uh, it just uh, I feel like uh, I, I cannot stand when somebody have a beard and with their balls out and be like uh, I'm like hi mister how dare you misgender me I'm a woman I'm like uh, that's complicated. I'm like, I mean, relax. Like, if I go out to the streets with no lashes, people call me, are you Jackie Chan's son? I'll be like, oh, you think I'm rich? Like, I don't feel, I don't feel insulted. Like, I look like a man with no lashes. No, with no eyelashes. I look like a man if I don't have my eyelashes on. And I know it's for a fact. I don't get insulted. Like, I, I don't want to call you a man. Just tell me you're a woman. I'll be like, oh, miss, you know, it's fine. Sure, but sure, just don't sure. be like, uh, mad if, yeah, 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 don't yeah. be mad and just like, right. accusing me a bad person. Right. If I want to hear that, I'll just call my mom. Right. Anytime someone jumps to say someone's a bad person off of one interaction, unless it's like you're like stabbing them, it's like makes me a little like yeah. 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 I don't want to say the wrong wrong thing, but like sometimes I'm dumb. Like I don't know. 
I can't X re. Also, a lot of the things that I know too now, I'm like, oh, it's because I went to like a fancy liberal arts college. Like, I remember going at the liberal arts college. I remember that we had a trans um, man speaking at the school, and this is like this is way back in the day. This is before I like knew. But I think it's important to share to be like, okay, we all start somewhere. Progress, not perfection. Me, I was out as gay at the time. I was like a trans man. Like, wow, what I've never heard of. I want to know what kind of genitals this person has. So I go to the talk with the intention of being like, so what kind of what's going on? And in the talk, he gave this like amazing speech, and it was really incredible. And then he said it was really moving. Partway through, he was like, and then it's like so hurtful, like. In public, people will just ask about, like, what's in my pants? And, like, think how, like, crazy that is to just ask someone. Like, they're just, like, a pe- – and I was, like, my hand is, like, thinking down. But that was me going in thinking that was okay. Not even okay. I felt entitled to know. So that's, you know, but the reason that I, like, learned, oh, don't do that is because I got to go the opportunity to go see this talk at this, like, school in Boston. You know, we all have the responsibility to educate ourselves. But it's, like, I try to think – okay, what would I be like if I hadn't had the opportunity to learn these things that way? So I'm not going to snap at someone like, how do you know not to ask someone that? If I'm like me, well, I was about to, you know? Yeah, I feel like we just need to treat like uh, transgender people the way we treat like everybody else. Like, Would you ask a woman be like, is your pussy moist or like not? Right. It just, you can't say that. Right. It's not. Okay, totally. just because it's a transgender uh, woman or man, no, maybe they have a penis, you don't have one. It's now your fucking business. Right. If they ask you, is your pussy moist? You can be like, is your dick hard or soft? Or do right. you have one? It's fine if you go right. there. But if we're not going there, like, I want a cappuccino. Do you have a dick? <laughs> right. You're like, wow. Yeah, it is. Wow. is this? Yeah, I just Wild. Don't think- yeah, they, they, like, the transgender woman, they are, like, county. Like, you are, you don't have good fashion. They don't want to talk to you either. They're not trying to be like, oh, let me put my dick on you. No, they don't want to go near you. You are ugly. You, you, you got your outfit from Walmart. Like, they don't, like, people are like, oh, he want to fuck me. I'm like, no, don't worry. Right, don't worry about that. He's in Prada Speedo. He doesn't want right. to fuck you. There's always, I remember in high school, there would be, like, some girl, like, that would come in, like, frumpy and be like, oh, I look like a lesbian today. When people say that, when they, like, don't get done up, and I'm like, no, you look like an ugly person. Like, don't put that on lesbians that you <laughs> don't look well. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, like, ha- what lesbians are you talking to that look like shit? Just own that you look like shitty today and, like, don't put that on us. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. You're, you're so Because you could be, like, dressed up, like, really, like, hot. It, you know, it's just, it's just, like, it's a spectrum. I mean, you see now more representation than we used to. Like, yeah. Like, changing radically. Yeah. Think how quick even in the past, like, three, four years. I feel like I, I, I think it's, I'm so agree with you. Like, Even with like people. neurodivergent stuff. Yeah. Like I have ADHD. I didn't know much about it until TikTok. And I've had ADHD for years. Now because of TikTok, like it seems like everybody is neurodivergent or autistic. Well, and, ADHD you know, are the people who is most successful. Say again? ADHD people, they, they end up you think most so? successful people. High achiever. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, it is. It is. Because I have a lot of uh, friends who is like a super, 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 super successful. I'm saying like uh, who, who like a uh, producer with like uh, 20, 40 Oscars. Mm. They, ADHD, like uh, it just, uh, I'm like, uh, huh? Like, I, what, what, what should I do to, to, to right. do that? Right. How like, do I get some of this ADHD? I, like, should, I, should I have sex with, right. with it? Like, uh, does it come? Right. Help? Like, I don't know. Right. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm very ambitious. And I, I just also like, I feel like uh, uh, you can't, look cute in comedy people judge you mm, you think so like uh, good people don't judge you like uh, shitty people like you know what like, I think it is I, I would think- never ever do that <laughs> okay bitch like I would never say I would never do that to someone who's doing something but it's like also with one thing with comedy is like cause sometimes like I'll feel it too like anytime you look different people are like trying to process it and calibrate it and like I don't know if you feel this way you feel so much pressure to like address how you look in like a fun friendly way so you can move on to stuff but it's like you, you there with there has to be like a way to do it and like you can do it. there is a way to do it we just don't see it very much and that's when something's hard because it's like you just don't see it a, a lot like now I feel like you do see some like better looking comedians than you used to but I mean it's not the most it's for not me, generally yeah. the most attractive bunch but it's changing and that's subjective yeah. too for me it's like it's very personal because I'm a dumpster baby and like I want my money where I can see it like mm. I want to put on my nice outfit also like uh, I just want to wear fancy stuff nice outfit look good what is good. a dumpster baby like, uh, you know I was born in the 90s and I was a girl like uh, oh oh yeah. oh oh like they, they want yeah, oh yeah yeah and then yeah. I just like uh, you don't want me <sighs> I, I thought want you meant, to I didn't want know if it was me like, like look at this let me take this right it's getting hot it's like I want my money where I can see it sure this is a Chinese girl who want to put all her money on her 
on her clothes and just like I want to look good, feel good, and do good. And yeah, then, me too. I'm right. Chinese girl too. Yes, that's probably I, problematic. Cancel. <laughs> yeah, you're like, how was your next podcast? I'm like, I want to be Chinese now. <laughs> but total, yeah, look good, feel good, do good stuff. Yeah, and then I will have uh, people come to me, like uh, the girls come to me, they're like, I would never dress up for comedy because uh, oh, people got distracted with my look. People got so distracted with my look. I'm like, you don't have a look. Right, <laughs> right. Like, what look? Right. Like, we are right. comedians. Like, what are you talking about? We are not Scarlett Johansson. Totally. Nobody give a fuck. Like, we, I can, I can, I can deck up. I, I'm still a four in Los Angeles. Like, sure. just you are not distracting everybody. Nobody's getting distracted by you. It's, if you wear your target dress, like, it's not right. gonna do it's anything. Okay. It's, also it's okay. Like, when people do get, like, put time into their appearance with stand up, I'll think of it. I'll be like, okay, like, they care about people's attention too. I mean, cause I started thinking about too, where I was like, Oh, I want to take better care of myself. Cause I was like, one, it helps me like feel better. Mm -hmm. But also it's like, I want people to know, like I put like, that's part of why I do get, if it was just me and I wasn't doing entertainment, would I get this much Botox? Probably not. Not that, that makes a big fans. difference, but it's like, you care about what you're presenting to people. Yeah. We are injecting poison in our face. Yeah. For you guys. So yeah. Land harder because our eyes are alert. Right. It's like, a, like a, we can't close them. Yeah. 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 If, if it wasn't for Botox, everybody's Chinese and you can't, we just all stop Asian hate because everybody's Asian now. You solved it. Yeah. I solved the Asian hate. Just that we all give up on Botox. Have you we gone, are all the same people. <laughs> have, you, have you gone back to China recently at all? Uh, not yet. I'm just uh, trying to prepare. Uh, yeah. It's a, uh, I think I'm just gonna wait when the kids are a little older so I can mm. take them with me. Yeah, I, I care about my children. People don't understand that. They don't believe me, but I do <laughs> care about them. And I'm trying to be very, very abusive so they can grow up hilarious. Because sense of humor first. is good for them. Yeah. It's sexy. Sense of humor is sexy. You can't buy. Right? We are sexy because we are funny. But Some people people do. And you know what? Humor is, an, humor is attractive. I think it's, it's nice to be able to laugh with yeah, somebody. It's, it's very attractive. It's important. Yeah. And it shows usually like kind of like a skewed, edgier way of like seeing things maybe. I, I feel, would think if someone has a really good sense of humor, they I mean, good sense of humor is subjective too, but I would think they would probably be more sexually open-minded. I feel like for you, I feel like after the show, you would have all the girls hate on you. Like, no. Really? Like for me, a female comedian, no. the moment I open my mouth, they laugh. They're like, uh, I just like, uh, like when, when a man make a woman laugh, like male comedians, shitty, ugly people, they get all the hot girls. They get everybody. Because when a man make a woman laugh, her heart opens a little bit. Her pussy open more. You know, like uh, if a woman, I make a man laugh, they're just like, my people, boss, my boss, my boss. Ha ha, but oh, don't get like, uh, you know, they just like, they, they, it's, I always say like being a female comedian is a natural method of birth control. I'll never get laid ever again. I think that the right but guys, gays are guys but, very comfortable in their sexuality would have absolutely no problem with that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because it's like if they're like intimidated by that, like that, then you just weed it out someone that's probably not. Yeah, I love the weed it out one. Yeah, that yeah. bridge for the water. Um, nice. I don't get the after sometimes. You don't get so many girls. Sometimes after shows, it'll be it'll be usually be like this. It'll be like a woman in her forties will be like, I wish I experimented more in college. And then I'll kind of play dumb, and be like, Oh yeah, college. That's is the crazy. funny as fuck. They That's think they think that they'll is. be hot enough in college for you. Who knows? But whatever Maybe. it is, I always ago? thirty years ago. 20. Play. I'll play kind of dumb, nice. and then be like, All right, and I'll keep it moving. But I don't get like I was talking to someone about that not too long ago and they were like oh yeah I get hit on all the time after shows and I was like maybe it's because I talk about having a girlfriend who knows but also I am always like I'm an idiot I'm a more like I make fun of myself a lot so I think that that may be or who, maybe it's my I have no fucking idea I don't get hit on I that. have an alter ego Mia mm -hmm. Mia the sushi chef okay if I'm I'm a lesbian I'll be yep. Mia the sushi chef it's like uh, the Trinity hair from being from a sushi chef would be a great way to meet women, right? Oh, yeah, sushi chef, fucking because I, I mean everyone loves sushi, but I feel like lesbian. I know but you're malleable. Mm -hmm. I, I people are just gonna eat my pussy for, for the tables. Like, Absolutely, I don't even have to be good. Absolutely, at cooking. and I feel like I'll have uh, leather outfits and I'll have uh, the haircut like a uh, uh, Trinity from Matrix. Done and done. Yeah, yeah. You probably I'll be wearing well. leather boots. And a lot of lesbians in LA like feminine, like feminine lesbians like feminine. There's a lot of femme on femme. Yeah, I want to have spicy, spiky hair like you, but like a jet black. Mm. Like a, just like, it's like a, I want some like a nice dragon tattoo. Kind would of you head. approach the women or would you? Oh yeah. Like, oh oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. wait. People, that's so funny. I, I don't know how you, but like straight women will say that a lot. They're like, if I was gay, I'd be going up to girls. I'd be popping them on the butt. And you're like. I wouldn't do that. It, it's all the stuff you, Oh, you would be. Yeah. I'll be very classy. Yeah. I'll, I'll just be like a 
just like a, be very like a gentleman. Gentleman. Like I wouldn't do like I don't think there's anything. I just think he's like it's just uh, I want to. I, I also don't want to one that stands. I just want like a, a girl I really love. Oh. And then just like go take her out on a fancy date, and then like a I don't know go to a retreat and just like meditate and have sex. See, listen to music, you, you like paint. Gay. <laughs> I know, I'm gay. I, I just I would never be like a hi girl, let's right. kiss. I. It's not drunk college. Like if I'm a lesbian, I'm doing it to the, like a, I'm gonna be a real lesbian. Like I'm just gonna go do the for real it. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I, I'm gonna get if I'm a lesbian, I can just look cool because the kids are what making me uncool. Mm. If I don't no. have kids, you think kids make you uncool? I, just, I hear parents say that all the time, where they'll yeah. be like, "But everyone thinks my whole identity is now having kids." I know. So I've heard a lot of people yeah, say people, that. I just feel like if I'm a lesbian, I'm gonna get a lot of tattoo. You, I think having kids, I don't. I personally don't think it's uncool, but maybe I'm not on the pulse of what's cool. I feel like I don't want to get too much of that too because the kids just. I think I'm. I don't know. I mean, Margaret Cho looks amazing, but uh, if I'm just a single lesbian, me as a sushi chef, work at Noble Malibu, I'll be having tattoo on my neck. If you're already lying about being the sushi chef, though, you could lie about having kids. Like if you're, if it's already built on an entire lie, then you don't have Can to. Can I just live like me as a sushi chef? You just run away and be a sushi yeah, chef. Just, yeah, yeah, just like one day and have like. A, Big word, John. Oh, like, I have an idea. She, get away. She might be a sushi chef away. Yeah. But, I mean, you could do a character on her, try it out. But I think, in especially in L.A., I think you probably meet a lot of women. I know. I can meet, like, a real good woman. I don't know many women in, I don't know any lesbians in L.A. to be totally, uh, do I know any lesbians in L.A.? Oh, one. My friend Gail that just moved here. Yo, I mean, yeah. like, one for his wife. Say again? Oprah one for his wife? I'm kidding. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Where does she hang She's out? still denying I don't know if it's true. I have, she hasn't told me. I haven't gotten the memo, but I don't know. I think it's the unmarried. <laughs> you think that she's get you do think you I get think, a gay vibe? I think a girl has a ring, cock ring. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think would be the more aggra- I can't picture that. I can't picture. I don't know. Uh, I feel like Oprah is so powerful in real life. She probably will be an, be at bottom. I feel like Oprah that's such a good point. Because a lot of times people that I, that is such a good point. A lot of times women like that usually then are very like submissive. But I don't yeah. Oprah to me like transcends yeah. So I'm like, I remember reading her books because she had all these books about her like yo-yo dieting. And I, and I remember just like reading them when I was like a kid. Mm-hmm. I don't know how the fuck I got that book, but I like really like liked Oprah's. I, I don't get I her like, when she's like, uh, uh, teach us how to be happy. You're a billionaire. Right. You are happy when you open your eyes. Right. The, the, don't the, teach me about being happy. When you Give me the, your money. The top down, wiping away the tears. Yeah. She's just yeah. like, oh, my diamond too heavy, but you can be happy if you take it off. I'm like, no, give it to me. She was like, she was like pioneering like the idea of like sharing parts of yourself and resilience when there was so much of a fourth wall through cameras. Cause mm-hmm. that was like, I think her talk show was one of the first live daytime talk shows. So now to us, that's not a novelty. It's like my niece has a live daytime talk show. She's going live, going live. Everyone's going live. But yeah. back then it, it had to be a huge deal. It was a huge deal. It so also she, like feel so empowering for most people because Oprah just right. uh, she transcends through the fourth mm-hmm. wall. She's talking to you. She's I felt sharing that. her wisdom. Yeah. And that's why she's so successful. It's because she touched hearts. Did you watch Jerry Springer or any of those shows? No, I didn't. Also, Gil's Dick. <laughs> oh, my God. I watched the, those when I was like, I think I had some babysitter that would let me watch Jerry Springer. And um, I mean, now that stuff seems kind of tame because like we just see that stuff all the time. But at the time, you're like, Whoa. I know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't even remember the episodes. It'd be like, my uncle slept with a clans member and we're Jewish and we did blah, 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 blah. Just, and then they would have them all come out and fight. That's, that's hilarious. Good times. Yes. You're hydrating. That's why you're pretty. I try to drink a lot of water. I drink good. a good amount of coffee. I don't drink alcohol. That's good. That's good. But I'm not like that. Hel- especially with like traveling is hard. It's hard because it's you barely really have hard. time to eat. And you also, scared, and then you just eat something when you're hungry. That's what I do. Exactly. Yeah. Or like, I'll be like, I'm gonna eat healthy, and then I like forgot to find some healthy food, and then I'm like at a hotel in the middle of nowhere, and I like go down to that French godforsaken. Fries. Yeah, French fries are the godforsaken. He's- the food thing at the hotel is a little like snack. And you get in like a hot pocket. Things are not okay. No. Hot yeah. pocket's depressing to me. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, not a joyous it's food. No, it's awful. If it's your only option, so what I try to do now is like bring healthy stuff with me. That's that's smart. That's yeah, because you want to. We want to do everything we can to armor ourselves. I feel like you're becoming the rock, bringing healthy snacks with you. I would love to be the rock. Yeah, you maybe be the rock of comedy. <gasps> I saw him one time okay. in person. We made eye contact. You know, what I said, 
I went, I was walking into an elevator. It was in LA. I'm walking in and he was standing talking to a bunch of people. And as I walked by, I went, I'm a fan. And then I just got in the elevator, not trying to stop. And he, this man stops, sticks his head in. So he like, and puts his hand so it does it in the elevator. And he goes, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. And I go, Money. anytime. And then he put his head back. Oh my Right? God. He literally full body, turn around, reach his long fucking arm in, pop, open. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh right. my God. That's amazing. I know. And I don't even think I'd seen any of his movies at that point. I just recognized oh him. God. And I was like, I love the way he looks. The only connection I have with him is that uh, my acting coach, Howard Fine, also coached The Rock. Shout out to Howard Fine. Shout out Howard Fine. Yes. I love you. Thank you, Howard. Good for you for sticking with the same acting coach. I have an acting coach, Bill Dawes, and then this woman, Penny Templeton. There. Bill She's Dawes? amazing. Yeah, Bill Dawes. I know Bill. Bill's my Bill friend. Bill Dawes. I love Bill Dawes. I... There's two acting jobs that I got that there's no way I would have gotten it without Bill. Like, Bill he would brilliant. work at the audition for hours, then he'd be like, oh, let's do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. And then, like, oh, very grateful for Bill. Love you, Bill. Bill, Bill is makes, so fu- And he's funny. I like Bill. Bill is very funny. Yeah. Yes, Bill's funny. Bill actually asked me to feature for him for, for uh, Vegas, but I can't, I can't go out of my... I, I'm I'm touring every month. Yeah. 20th to 30th. I, I have to stay in LA the first 20 days of every month because I have two kids. You know, I, right. I can't be a complete bad mom. So that also is... <laughs> also, I'm headlining. And also, it's a good way to like keep that's a good way to keep give a schedule like doing it exactly because you you, you, know yeah you are gonna go all crazy if you are touring every month Mm -hmm. every day you just go crazy because i feel like i'm not getting enough love from la and new york just love me here's the thing no one feels like they get enough love i feel like no one feels like they get enough love from the city they're from although actually you know what maybe not in new york in new york when you do comedy you you do feel the love from the clubs and stuff but i feel like no matter like, I feel like it's very hard to be like, I I feel like very few people are like, I get the respect I deserve. Because re- people are always like, ah, no one. People don't treat on. me like a, uh, what I deserve. I'm just going to keep hustling. Just like, right. Like the little tiger like, trying, to, trying to get out of the cage. Is there ever a point where you'd be like, I did it? Well, last night was pretty damn nice. Mm. Uh, Bill Burr brought me on stage. Nice. Said my name right. Zhao Ying Summers. The hilarious Zhao Ying Summers. Nice. I went up. I followed the king and I fucking murdered. That's great. And that I felt good because, I mean, the room was just like uh, all the way high up, uh, high, high, high. Which and club they, was it at? It was at the Bourbon Room. Uh, oh, I was just, I had a meeting this morning. We were just talking. My manager was telling me about that. Room. Oh my God. That is a really good room. It's amazing. Hmm. And then I, and I just, uh, did my best and I murdered and people great. tell me how great I was and it's a, it's 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 hard to follow him obviously for sure yeah I don't he think is I've ever done the best show. in the business I did, I've gone out, I followed Ray Romano Chappelle I've never followed Bill Burr but he's he's, he's great yeah I think uh, I mean we can do a show at the Bourbon Room we can I, yeah I know it the seems owner. like a great he venue. asked me to do he asked me to, to do like a show there maybe we can double headline I'm down for whatever do a 40, 40. sweet. Yeah, I have never heard of it. And then just this morning, I was ta- I had a meeting and they were talking about different rooms in LA. And I think you're gonna up. love it. You especially is gonna love it because it's is beautifully designed. It's art every corner. Mm. Like if for somebody like you, is the sound good? Oh, it's the best. Because that's the thing I always look for. Like it I, was a theater. Yeah, I, all the only thing I care about was just like good sound, comfortable seating for the audience. I think so it's like a two hundred people. Nice, one hundred fifty. Nice. You want places where people can feel like they get swept up. Last night I was at the, um, because I'm staying out in Orange County, so I did a guest spot at the Irvine Improv. Oh my God. Which I haven't been in that room in a long time. 500. It's a big room. And I, it was Craig Continent, who's a buddy of mine, super funny. He pa- he packed it out and I hadn't been in that room in years. Oh my God. But, it was, a, that room is nice too. I'm doing the March 8th, the Irvine Improv. Nice. March 8th, buy tickets. Buy tickets. Buy tickets right now. Um, It will sell out. We may add another show, but buy it right now. Irvine people, UCI people, Asian people. Asian people. Or like, the, if you don't hate Asians, buy a ticket to see me. Help me with my uh, child care, because I don't have uh, child support. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to sell more tickets. No, I get it. Yeah. It's a, it's a hustle. Yeah. Yeah, me hustle. Me so Yeah, me. so those t- yeah. <laughs> Trying to sell tickets. I get it. Yeah. I get it. So I think I think you would, uh, you really enjoyed the Irvine Improv, huh? I like that it was a good... I mean, it's so crazy because in New York, you get up like every night pretty much. So in LA, I took a oh couple my God. nights off. What, so it's what, just different. Do you have time? Like uh, this weekend? Do you have... Time? No, I'm going away this weekend. Oh, book, yeah. But I come in, I get back. Do come it's in. my girlfriend's 30th birthday, so we're going out of town. Amazing. And then I get back in on su- uh, Monday, but then I fly. I'm going to... um. South Carolina, North Carolina, South Carolina for the Mr. Goodnights. That's amazing. I'm going to Greensville, Greensville, Greensville 
Charlotte, Greensboro, and then I go back to New York, and then I go to the Orlando Improv January 24th, and then January 25th, the Tampa Improv. Amazing. And then I go to Omaha. Have you been to Omaha before? I haven't. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm a big fan. Omaha is a fun comedy city. I never would have thought. I don't know why I would have. I don't know what I was. Th- I don't think I had a thought in either direction Just about Omaha. Just saying the word Omaha, I feel like I'm choking on a dick. Like, it's, Omaha. <laughs> it's, I like love Omaha. Omaha like is how I started performing at all the Funny Bone Clubs because I had su- it, Omaha was like such a good time. Oh my God. I know that sounds crazy. It was great. The, I great should, steak. I should, well, Omaha. I should, I should go there. I swear it's like where it's. Yeah. It's neat to see places too that you would like probably, I wouldn't have seen Omaha, you know. But now I'm going back. I'm going to Columbus, Ohio. I was just there. That room is great. It's big, mm-hmm. and they have a uh, you know the seating up top, and the sound oh. the sounds really good. It's nice, 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 and good. They got that good sound. Have you been oh. to Columbus before? No, I went to Kentucky for college. I went to. Lexington. I've never been to Kentucky. I'm doing. I think I'm also doing Lexington, the um, Broadway club. Order nice, in Lexington, but uh, Columbus is confirmed. So I'm just like. I've like, never been to Kentucky before. You should. Yeah, we should do something there. Yeah, Kentucky. You and I just do some funny. I don't know Kentucky. one thing about it. But I'll go. I'm down yeah, for whatever. You aren't, we can go to like the horse race or something. Great. Yeah. So you went from you went from China to Kentucky. That's what happens. I mean, it happens to the best of us. It does happen. <laughs> you know, the same that <laughs> typical route. <laughs> Was it like culture? Must have been culture shock. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's kind of. Is there a big will, Chinese population in Kentucky? No, not, not really. Not so um, I they 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 saw that was Lucy Liu. They saw that was Lucy Liu. <sighs> they uh, and also the. Uh, I mean, everybody wants to convert me. Yeah. Yeah. They believe in Jesus Christ, the Savior, our Lord. I'm like, keep talking. Oh, yeah, they got those intense billboards. I'm going like, to keep talking. I'm turning on. Yeah. Like, the, the Lord? <laughs> Will he also choke me? How long were you in Kentucky? Too long. Four years. I can't believe I've never been in Kentucky. You are not missing out. I don't know why. Is it? Yeah, you are a New Yorker girl. You I've have been everything all around. in New York. I had been all around it because there's a while I was doing colleges and like all over the south and but my sense of geography is like all fucked up too but I don't know I'll, someday I'll go to Kentucky yeah Kentucky is close to Ohio like right next to each other yeah I think you're gonna love you in Kentucky but Lexington is a very liberal city nice very liberal like a, you I, I when I was in college the quiz the gay people and the lesbians they they live in Lexington the little blue mm. spot of mm-hmm. Kentucky then everywhere else like uh, right yeah it's right. Like, yeah, because I've been to Kansas City and Topeka, Kansas. Topeka, Kansas, they've got intense billboards. That was the first time I saw billboards like where it's like inte- like abortion billboards co- uh-huh. all over. Like I was just Greg driving. Greg should be the Jesus face, right? It's crazy. Greg, it's intense. Your friend, our friend, Greg Connacht, he should be the Jesus face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He should just. Oh, he does look like Jesus a little bit. If his hair is a little longer. Totally. Totally. Sexy Jesus. Yeah, he looks like a, like a handsome Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Those billboards, though, I'm just driving, and it's like beautiful landscape, and then you're like, whoa, Jesus. Yeah. Ah. Abortion. No, yeah. Yeah, abortion. Everywhere. Billboards. Boom, boom, boom. It makes it like whatever music you're listening to feel real weird. I know. So I'd be just like listening to like hip hop or pop music, jock jams. It's like, yeah. And then I like see the abortion thing. I'm like, I'll turn it. It doesn't feel right. It mm-hmm. doesn't feel right mm-hmm. to be listening to that, and then you're seeing like, it's very strange. It's, yeah, it's like a uh, heavy They sex. should put that money into. Like helping somebody, yeah, or whatever. I mean, I definitely do not want that group of people to come at me. But um, yeah, I, re- I do remember that from driving around those with like super red states with the blue dot. Yeah, it's uh, very intense. Mm-hmm. It's very intense. I they yeah, I have people ask me to go back to China all the time or go back to Japan. Right, I'm not from Japan. Yes, you are. Uh, or they'll be like, "Are you sure?" Yeah, are you sure? I'm, I'm positive. I'm not, yeah, I'm from my mom's vagina. That's where I'm from. Is all your family still in China? Uh, my mom is here uh, because uh, I didn't. I betrayed the Buddha. She lived with me. I need her to help me as a kid. You know, I can't. Sure. My nanny work full time, but I don't trust her with the children. So her my son because you wait, you, t- are, you just said you didn't have child care. I do. I do. Oh, yeah. I, I have I have child care, but I don't have a uh, child support. Oh oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh yeah, those are two different things. I was trying to cover for you since you had said that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are two different things: child care versus child support. Very different things. Yes, all my money I make goes to Winston's school, Margot's school, and my full time nanny. I love those names, Winston and Margot. Magnolia. I love those names, Margot for short, because the the flower of Shanghai is a magnolia. Oh, that is. She's named after the city. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that. My best friend growing up was named Margot. Margot is a cute name. Mm -hmm. Margot Robbie, are you gay? She's hot. She's pretty. God, she's gorgeous. I've never been in the blondes, but she's very pretty. She's a good actress, too. She's good. 
And I think she's not a natural blonde. Mm. I remember when she was in the Wolf, Wolf, like Wolf of Wall Street, she she it was a breaking out role. She was mm-hmm. so good. I think when she was at audition, she she actually slapped Leonardo. Really, for real, Pam. She's like took so a risk. It was, it was like it's fine. Right, she got the role. That's great. And yeah, then, she can act. She's so good. And then I Tanya, that was like such a good movie. That movie is so, so good. fucking good. So good. I love it. I I I feel bad for her. Mm. I want her to break somebody else's knee. Like I just the break is up. It makes you like believe. Maybe like this one of those ones. Where I was like fucking. I believe in cinema. Like I was like yeah. I was like that just gave me a She's, front to back experience. And she looked like a, mm-hmm. a, a real good skater. Like she she she's so. She's so good. She just transforms into her. Especially when she's older and bitter. Oh my god! Yes, so yes. good, so good. And then went, she, yeah, yeah, she was on the red carpet after the, the movie. She went to jet black hair, and then people were like, mm. "Don't recognize her anymore." She's hot either way. Sure, she, she's beautiful. Yeah. She went. I went down a rabbit hole googling Tanya Harding stuff after that movie. Like, oh, that yeah, Tanya Harding. She's good. She's yeah, good. that was like that was very very. It's just, it's just she was born in a uh, wrong country. In China, mm. you blow somebody's knee out, you bump somebody, you be fine. Right. Nobody, nobody's going to jail for that. Like, right, like, just like uh, why yeah. do you make her? Why just a one knee? She's not a villain. She's right. she, 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 ambitious. She, she's ambitious, and uh, she's. I feel like uh, we can be friends. She didn't. Right. Yeah. She just. Uh, she's she in the club. Yeah, She'll she's be in safe in China. Yeah. <laughs> in America, you can't bully people. You can't tell ugly people they're ugly. Like in, in school, you can't. Like uh, people told me. I'm ugly, and that's why I, I got funnier. If mm. I didn't know I was ugly, I probably just become this dumb bitch. It's good to be bullied. I always wonder that, or I wonder if we people just say that we say that to like feel like it worked out for a reason. Yeah, I feel like I just uh, don't think uh, if you don't tell people, you just don't. I don't know. I was. It bullied. does make you more resilient, it, for yeah. sure. Too, and yeah, also, too. there's no way someone would want to do. Something as isolating as stand up if they hadn't experienced something fucking brutal. You know exactly. what I mean? Like, you have to experience something that's worse than being totally isolated and like out to sea and having everyone be like, what are you doing? Yeah. You have to have something. T- like, I remember there was some, there's this woman in Boston that was like, I don't think it's true. The comedians have to have had a tough childhood. And I was kind of like, mm. and then I don't think she does stand up anymore. Cause you have to do something that was yeah. tough yeah. to make you be like, well, I got through that so I can get through this. Because yeah, I stand up, I think it is the hardest. Uh, performing art ever because there's no script you are the one to right. blame you are the one to blame if right. it, it's not funny you are not funny right. for like a comedy movie it's like a, oh the actor the director actor is okay but the director the writer mm. and the editor and right. the producer and they release it on time and they cut differently for us nobody's laughing you're not right. funny you dumb bitch that's all it's all we are the only one to blame and that's why it's hard and it's happening in, in lifetime like y- y- you are gonna deal with them you have to have the power to control mm-hmm. the whole room to communicate to open your heart and that's that's what you are doing you are not uh, fucking reciting a script that's why I say like in comedy you can't fuck your way to the top you can't right fly. the dick can't fly in and save you when you are not funny mm-hmm. on stage but it's I think it's too it's like disproportionate to how mad people get yeah because it's like if some they don't like someone who does like stand up, they're like, I hate them, and it's like, well, all right, they're just being silly. Like it's a weird thing to be like <laughs> that they get that. Like it's like if it was someone like in any other setting, like drag them. Like if you were at the checkout and they just started like telling you their thoughts on whatever, fucking, I hate you. Like shut the fuck up. But if it was, if it's like you, the con- you know comedy club, it's gonna be over soon. Like being like, I hate you, isn't it? It's strong. Yeah, relax. I remember going to a show with a friend of mine to see. She was in the comic. I wanted to show her a buddy, and she, the person that went before him, she was like, I hate him. And I was like, you mean you just didn't like his comedy? She was like, oh, yeah, I, I hate him. And I was like, Jesus. Yeah. Such a strong reaction. Yeah. But I've done that, too. I've seen people sometimes, and I'm like, they're standing up, and I'm like, I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. Yeah. I, hate I, him. I, I, I just, I hate unfunny comedian who bomb, and they tell me, oh, my God, just killed. Right. I, I, it's okay to bomb. Right. But it just... Uh, Acknowledge it. Sure. Like, like, oh, self awareness is everything. Yeah. If you don't like, I whenever I see somebody, they fucking bomb. They're like, holy shit, I killed it. I just, uh, I <laughs> my pussy dries out like the <laughs> yeah. Mojave Desert. I'm like, <sighs> it's cr- well, th- it, that's crazy. Yeah. First of all, like uh, being a comedian, just like uh, you, you, you can't, you, you like don't date another comedian. That's right. the rule. But secondly, it's like uh, I cannot deal with uh, when somebody don't have self awareness. Self, I will excuse so many things without if someone has self-aware. If someone can explain where they're coming from, something mm-hmm. there's like very few things that I won't be like, 
you know, to, okay, at least I, I feel you, right? I, I, that makes sense. And then that's like, they don't, they don't get better and mm. then get bitter. Right. Because somebody else is just blowing up and doing so good because they work their ass off and sure. they know when they suck. But the person who doesn't uh, do the work and uh, uh, think they kill every time and right. they're like, I never bombed. I'm like, because you never killed before. I <laughs> that's why I never bomb. I had this, I remember this friend was talking about her relationship and she said they'd been together four years. She goes, we've never been in a fight. And I was like, see, that's weird. Oh, the real, you weird. have to have some texture in yeah, there. It's not to, a real relationship. Not a real relationship. You, don't, you never had a fight. Never a fight for years. How can you have good sex? They didn't last. Make up a sex. Is- right. It's the built in tensions and there's yeah. like release there. Yeah. It's just like, uh, I feel like uh, nobody's perfect. The most beautiful ways to per- people who's not perfect learn to live with each other and mm-hmm. understand each other, support each other, when somebody, each other being assholes and dumb bitches. 100%. Yeah. That's the beauty of relationship. That could be part of your pitch if we if you do a dating yeah. show. I'm like, uh, I'm not perfect. I'm a crazy bitch. I'm yeah, but like, uh, you know, right? I'm doing the Marilyn Monroe thing. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. I, mean, sure. I have like all those bitches saying like, your worst is the worst of Marilyn, but your best is not Marilyn. Right. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, the math like, is adding up. Liz Taylor, like, you, right. you can't handle me at my worst. You don't deserve me at my best. Your breast at Starbucks, honey. <laughs> what is your best? A it's coffee a that's latte. not wrong order? Yeah, right. Good. <laughs> I also have people be like, I was ordering a coffee. That was during the Trump Trump time. It was hard for all of us, mm. for you and for me, me as an immigrant, for you as a, you know a member of the LGBTQ community. I order my coffee, and she's like, "I'm sorry, um, I can't spell your name." I said, "It's okay, just the summers." She's like, "So, uh, uh, are you from the China? Is that China? Is that China?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm 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 from China." She's like, uh, it's just like, she's like, oh, you, you, you people just come here and to take take our jobs. Oh, God. I'm like, honey, you make a minimum wage. I'm not taking your job. Right. <laughs> right. That's awful. I'm coming here to fuck Howard Schwartz to fire you, you dumb umber bitch. Like, Did you still drink the coffee? I didn't say that, which I said. I, 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 just, I just didn't order it. I'm like, yeah. I'm like I'm gonna, I gotta go. I don't want to spit in my coffee and get herpes from you. It, true. <laughs> true. Hepatitis B, you know, I don't know. True. <laughs> I mean, she was hot though. Really? She's pretty. Like, I don't, like, when people, like, somebody's being county to them, like, they were just like, ugly, the, but, like, somebody being county, like, they are pretty, they're pretty. Yeah, but you're pretty bitch. You're a pretty yeah. bitch. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking I never, pretty bitch. I just, I, I never confuse everything together. Mm. Like, uh, she's a pretty girl, but she's also a county bitch. So, yes. But then you're like, you're an ugly bitch. Like, but she's, like, I just don't confuse things. Totally. Do you do you confuse things? Like somebody's being an asshole? Sometimes I'll lump things in because I'll just be like trying to like bring them down. But then it like, then you lose validity to your argument too. Because if you, then it's like, well, like say someone said you're an ugly bitch to her. She might be like, oh, well, I know I'm not ugly. So then maybe I'm also not a bitch. Be like, no, let me I tell know. you something. That's exactly right. I'll give you credit where oh credit is due. But then the part where you need to understand is like, yeah, fucking brutal. That's, that's why you are bringing the comedian is because you are being so real when it's, mm. you are being so real you are being so effective mm. about it it's like me like I'm a bitter bitch but when I was skinny I was a skinny bitter bitch like right. I'm mad because it's not bitter bitch but it's like uh, I've always been that way right and when you're like uh, yeah you're, you, br- you, you're the brand of staying consistent yeah you you yeah, you, you do lose the argument because you're like oh I'm pretty then maybe I'm not a bitch then she don't feel like she's a bitch and right she's not getting she's hurt not, listen exactly she's not getting hurt because so if you really recognize argument. stuff she does know is true then she's yeah. gonna be like oh okay that check 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 and then you say something she doesn't want to hear she's like damn yeah. that's where you gotcha but I do I have like lumped things in before for sure be like a oh, stupid fucking dumb motherfucker. Well, oh, that's that's not lumping it in. That's more like redundant. If yeah, like you stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid moron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. People do be being stupid. Like they can, like most people piss us off because they are dumb. I do, I do dumb stuff too, though. Me too. I've been getting beeped at a lot in LA. Because, you know, I was talking to someone, they were like, he was like, oh, I get such bad road rage. Like, the drivers here suck. And I was like, I suck at driving. I'm a bad driver. Because I never drive in New York ever. So now when I'm in LA, I got to really watch it. Because yeah. oh, there's wow. a lot of beep And then me being like, oh, ah. Yeah, in yeah. LA, the thing is like, uh, one of the rings in LA, everybody is a, uh, is an Asian driver. Like, it's... People cancel appointments when it's raining. I know. What's up with that? They're like, how do you stay dry? I'm like, listen to a white guy's pod- podcast. Yeah, there was no traffic today. <laughs> listen to a white guy's podcast to right. stay dry. There was no, and there was no traffic because no one was driving into LA because it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. People freak out. I didn't know about that because I was like, what the fuck? Like, there was no, none, and normally it's so much traffic. Yeah, yeah. People just uh, can't drive here. When it rains, it's just like, 
is I will drive in the rain, but generally I'm not. So I try to be like compassionate if someone gets a lot of like road rage or something. Yeah, they have a lot of road rage. They just uh, I don't know why. I just the kind of uh, zoom out when I'm driving. I just listen, listen to John Rivers and Ooh. giggle. I, she's my favorite. You giggle. I giggle like yeah. Well, I have the worst day. Like uh, my husband just left me, right? Mm. I left him. Where's the camera? I left him. Right. I left him. So you know, I'm just like listening to John Rivers talking about uh, Oprah's big ass. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, totally. The I get it. Be canceled. That's what I used to do with Cat Williams. I'd be like, before I'm gonna let myself get depressed, I'm gonna listen to some Cat Williams clips, and then I can be depressed afterwards. But at least give yourself that chance to be a little less depressed mm -hmm. and do that first. Yeah, and I'm always was, depressed. I'm just like uh, mm. I'm depressed most of the time, but sometimes I'm laughing. You take pills. I don't believe in uh, pills because mm. I have to pay to get pills. I mean, I'm kidding. I'm just doing like uh, a lot of uh, trying to find a, a white boyfriend to abuse. It kind of helped me with my self esteem, and uh, you know, I feel better. About I thought you could make you gotta just put an ad up. I know. I'm like uh, Johnny Summers looking for a boyfriend to abuse. Sure. I also I never had a big black dick. I, mean, I, just, I think just, you could probably arrange that. Yeah, I just feel like uh, should I die without? Should I? Like, I don't think it's fair. I, I mean, I fall so hard to like crawl out of the dumpster. Like, do you go out? Are you like on dating apps? I am on a dating app, but like, I'm just uh, f like very focused with my career mm -hmm. because of the kids. I know it's hard. It's two kids. I feel like I. It's, a, it's like another job, kind of. Yeah. It's, it's for me, like, I am a dumb bitch. Right. When I'm in love, game over. I'll mm. be buying him a fucking car. Like, mm. I can't do it. I just need to. Uh, like the kids are like a, a full time job. The stand up for me is a full time job. Sure. And I'm touring. I need a I need a nice single dad who is like a, not toxic. Important, yeah, not toxic. Yeah, important. I just can't have it. Like you don't have to be funny. Just don't try to be funny in front of me ever. Sure. Like are you are you? I mean. Does your girlfriend try to impress you with her jokes? She's really funny. She like helps me write jokes. She doesn't try to be, but she's really good with Amazing. words too because she works in advertising. So oh, that she, is a, like the word is money for them. She helps with like editing, or she'll be like, "That's redundant," or she like writes stuff. And like there was a minute I remember she given my I uh, someone was featuring for me, and then she gave him a note, and then she gave me a note, and then on the next show, both of her notes like people were like. Oh, and then after there, like her note was like the highlight of both of our sets, and I was like, <sighs> but so I'm always like, give me another note, give me another note, give me another note. But That's so amazing. so she does not do that. I've had good luck with that, where I haven't. I wouldn't be in a relationship with someone that like, but I wouldn't want someone to. Try, I would never want you. Never want someone to feel like self conscious about their sense of humor because once you start calling that out, it's like bleh, bleh, it doesn't work. Yeah, you know they, what I mean. They, they, they become a mess. They just start trying to like uh, impress you with all kind of uh, non funny things. Yeah, don't worry I, about I, it. Oh, a comedy club. I listen to open mics twenty four seven. Like mm -hmm. I don't need to hear it from anybody. Right. But, but then I have funny friends. They're not comedians. They are just brilliant. oh people that aren't. Yeah, I love them. totally. And uh, and one of my friend, he's an editor, and he also like uh, would uh, go over my words. Because mm. he's, editor, he's so good and I, I so I helpful. I love him so much. It's so good because my brain doesn't work like that. Um, and now I, I can spot it more. But I'm like, oh yeah, that is yeah. stupid. Yeah, is the words are so important, right? Yeah, or it gets like clunky or like, and I'm, with my ADHD, like I'll go off on like tangents and stuff. Uh -huh. Or there was a while where she came to a few shows and she was like, it's obvious you're like fishing for TikTok clips. Because anytime oh, something something would happen in the crowd in the past, I would like, kind of move on. But then there was like a good two months where I was like, what is, well, you just got out of the insane asylum? Tell me more. Like, yeah, I like it's wanted- It's fun though, but then you f you get new materials that you right. explore and you to a clips. new place. Either clips and also like, uh, I, I think it's fun, I'm gonna do that more. Cause some, yeah, then you can get new stuff out of it. But I was like fishing. Like I would I be like, that. I know. And then I, now I stopped doing that. Maybe I'll start it up again. Yeah, just for fun. It's like a, a blindfold in sex. Right. It's like a, a face. Right. It's good for a minute and then you do it again next month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I forgot who wrote your name. I wrote names in Chinese. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, so. I'm a. Okay. I'm a in Chinese means I. Ma. I means love. Ma means mom. So I means I love my mom. I do love my mom. Well, she's also like a program that you to do. I love her though. That's your Ooh. name. She is smart, meticulous. That's meticulous. Mom, I actually would. She's she's. I would say she's smart and frazzled. I'm going to name my daughter Emma uh, when I have a baby. If I I gone crazy, if I lost 
my mind. Mm-hmm. The just, just, the... just, just Venmo me money. I mean, Venmo me. I mean, I'll Venmo you money. Whatever. Just uh, I'll Venmo you money today. So just give, send me a plan B. Okay, deal. Yeah, well, I'm like, I think I. Uh, yeah, I think he came inside. You were like, okay, I, I promise you to protect you from your life. So it shouldn't be that. I did not know that's what it meant for. In, so it means I. I ma. I means love. Ma means mom. I had so, no idea about love that. My mom. So I'm, it means I love my mom. So if I give you my can daughter roast that if you name, want. That's a pretty. Okay. That's like there's some names there that are, they are very good. At, like has good meanings in Chinese. Maybe your mom's cheating on your father with Jackie Chen. Could <laughs> be. Learning, I mean, learning some Chinese and yeah. giving you the best Chinese name because most Chinese most name in Chinese are very shitty. Like that's so cute. Like Shabi means Shabi in Chinese. Shabi means stupid. Really? means count. Like that's. What does talk? Katie mean? That's my sister's name. Oh, that's uh, uh, Katie means Kai Di. Kai means successful. Di means brother. It means my brother oh. is successful, but I'm a loser. Damn. Do you have a brother? I do. Half brother. Half brother. Okay, well, so my mom didn't name him. His name's Wiley. What does that mean? Huh? Wiley. Uh, Wiley. And thank you. Wiley is like a, a outside and inside. So he's confused. Mm-hmm. You think confused? In a way, I feel. <laughs> I'm diagnosing that, but yeah. <laughs> All guys are confused. He's a, I mean, he works as a, he works as a, he's a half brother. We're not very close, but uh, my mom will think that she'll be like, oh, that's what that means. Like, oh, really? Wow. Like she'll think, she'll think that's Yeah, that's cute. Like that's why I was thinking I should have brainwash my daughter to mm-hmm. love me because uh, you know she, probably she'll hate me uh, but uh, if her name is Ima she's like I I, I love my mom I love my mom I'll be like you get to hear it all the time yeah you hear it because I feel like good words positive words make your mind mm-hmm. it's just a positive vibe yeah that's the become, affirmations affirmations they become ideas ideas become reality Work. then she end up loving me the only thing is is I guess people don't usually say their own names very much so it'd be you saying You'd be like, hi, Emma. So it would be like you saying, hi, I love my mom. Yeah. So it's almost like playing it forward oh, to the okay. other generation. So maybe if she, nice. if she is a daughter, you got to name her Emma. So then it'll be she'll be like, Emma, Emma, Emma. So she's just saying, I love my mom all the that's time. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I'm going to tell my mom. Yeah, that's cute. She'll like it. That's nice. She'll be like, oh, okay. That's a good name. I didn't know. I also have a segment that uh, I have an Uber Karen character. She's a racist, sexist, okay. homophobic bitch. Oh, boy. And uh, she also bought her driver's license. No, she bought her therapy license from Chinatown. Now she's uh, <laughs> Dr. Karen. So like, uh, I, I just wanted to have this like uh, crazy immigrant Chinese lady to give uh, mental health advice. Like, Sign what is what's, what's, What is bothering this week, Emma? Like, what's... <laughs> Okay, what's bothering me this week is I feel like put I put so much pressure on myself to Okay, this you know what what's straight up been bothering me this week is I never remember if I took my ADD pills. So then sometimes I am taking too many ADD pills or not enough ADD pills and I don't know how basically I got to get more organized. Any advice, Karen? Well, I feel like uh, you just go with the flow. Oh, I'm trying to do that. And I, I think I'm you are doing well when you're going with the flow because uh, I feel like uh, uh, I'm I'm just like uh, believing in like uh, just uh, go with the flow, just uh, like uh, affirm, uh, just uh, affirmation. I am fabulous. I am great. I I can live with or without the pill. The Ooh. pill, the pill is just something that uh, is a cherry on top. But I am the fucking muffin bitch. Like I can do whatever the fuck. Did I you want. say I'm the muffin? Yeah, yeah. I'm the fucking muffin bitch. <laughs> like uh, if I take the pill, lucky pill. If I don't take you, fuck you. I'm doing fine. I'm going with the flow. I'm riding the big dick. No, I'm riding the big wave. Sorry. No. Yeah. I like that. I am. Not l- I just feel I'm like taking a-, a pill. Lucky pill. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I don't take you. I didn't yeah. need you today, bitch. Right. Like, I want you tomorrow. It's like, just like, be the toxic one in a relationship to the pill. Totally. Be like, a, I want some nice pussy today. I'm busy. I have a career. Sure. Oh, you look good. Nice tits. Right. I'm busy. I'm focusing on my career right now. I don't have time for you. Mm-hmm. Mm, I feel like I need some. And then text her. Totally. <laughs> Is that practicing for your character? I know. You're going for it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice. Well, when you do your dating show, you could open it up. I you mean, know? yeah. W- women are beautiful. Sure. Dicks are ugly. I love, I like having, I always want the penises in the porn. I like having, watching penises in porn. Because mm-hmm. I like to I'll always like self-actualize with guys when I see penises in porn. So like, if there's no penis in the porn, I don't actually get into it. Like I want to, I always want to watch someone getting plowed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a nice dick is a nice dick. Mm-hmm. Or I don't even have to even see the. I just want like the action of. Yes, I want someone that wants it and then someone. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Well, like uh, the things like uh, I I feel like a woman's body it just is more beautiful. All of the most 
beautiful art. I don't even look at that in the naked the woman's body, and nobody I, has it. Like a, a, I mean, there's statues of sure David's. I li- I think I like when I go if I go to the gym and I see like muscular guys too. Like I'll be like, good job. Like I'll like, or if, even if I like notice like a I mean, the rock. Oh yeah, I'm I was like, good job. Or I had a waiter the other day, and he this guy was jerked, and I was like, good for you, man. Like you're like. Jack, he was I like, love when men's like ripped. Yeah, act. even though it's a whatever state you're in is like good, like uh, good for you, totally. But like, I will notice that and be like, like I saw this guy who was a, he was definitely a bodybuilder, and I was like, you're Jack, and he literally turned around, he went, thank you so much, oh and God. I was like, oh no, you know what I mean? Like, so cute. Yeah, it was really cute. Mm-hmm. It was cute. Like he, it looked like he didn't hear that much, but this guy was riptide. Like he was, he said. I didn't ask him how much he bench pressed. He offered that. I think he said like 400. Oh my God. I feel like when you come with people, it just, it means so much because you are so sincere. Mm. And that's why like the rock just stick his head in the <sighs> elevator. You can imagine an elevator just. I know. Goes, you know how much money? Could you imagine if it closed yeah. on the rock? I would, pr- I would not tell anyone that because I would think I had gone insane. Could you imagine then you get up to the floor and you're like, uh, the rock's head's in the elevator. It's like a Judy Foster. Right. Like the president got murdered because of her. Like or I would just take his head and run and run. I don't know what I would. I I try. I would jump out and try to put it back on. I think. Yeah, yeah. I beg no one's gonna believe this. This is a fucking disaster. <laughs> oh my god, we are having so much fun. Yeah, thank you for. Having I cannot me. wait to um do more shows with you. Let's do it in New York or here. Like let me know when I, you are out. I definitely want to spend more time in L. I love it. I love coming yeah. out to L. A. So yeah, let me know when you are here next. So we can you do it here. Deal. Like we can do the bourbon room if you Great. like it. Sounds fun. It's fun. It, we can film it. Sweet. We can do something funny too with it. Right? I love making other ki- types of content. Yeah. Doesn't all have to be stand up. Because now also on Instagram, it's like stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. So I'm like, it's a breath of fresh air when something's not stand up. At least in my. my I think so. What I'm curious what your feed is. My feed is all like hip mobility, protein powder, pimple popping, stand up. Not um, about that, but that's what it is. Yeah. I have the Uber Karen. Roasting name is in Chinese. Or what What do you pop? What do you see? Like, what does other people oh, that you Other yours? people, uh, Marilyn Monroe and mm. Boobs. Botox and Ooh. BBL. Mm. Yeah. Also like a bra pit. Like a, yes. Like young, young. Totally. Girl. You would be like a, his twin sister. I appreciate that. <laughs> right? I like, love Fight Club. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Edward Norton was so hot. When Such he was a good pit. movie. So. It's so funny to me what other people's Instagram feeds are. Yeah. Like yeah. Marilyn Monroe. Bo- yeah. Yeah. Like a bra pit. Like all bra pit. Like I bra pit. Like I... I think he's single now. You gotta, gotta get to him. Yeah, I, I, I'm here. Collar. Yeah, I may not be funny, but this pussy's tight. <laughs> if you want some Chinese, yeah, call my manager at Three Hearts. Oh my god, that was a good pitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, pitch. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. I'm like a high school. You think he's going to go? You're nervous he's going to call? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Call three yards. I'm single. That would be the dream. Is that your celebrity crush? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't care how old he is. It doesn't matter to me. That's so funny you say that about the age because someone said that they're like, they were like, I would date Brad Pitt, but he's too old. And I was like, is, is that why you think you guys aren't working out? Like you You're and like, Brad maybe Pitt. Maybe Brad like, Pitt is old, but you'll always be ugly. Like, right, he's right, good, right. He's always the most gorgeous man sure. ever. It's still Brad Pitt. It's Brad Pitt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't. When you say his name, it's like so sexy. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I guess that's it. Uh, we are, we are, we, we are, we're like, we are like one hour and 20 minutes, right? Thank wow. you for having me. We have fun. Thank Anytime. you so much. Absolutely. So, what do you want to promote? I've got all my tour dates. Out like, yeah, yeah. Where all my tour dates are on I am Emma Wilman.com. I post on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook a lot. I'm going to be in a movie called Inappropriate Behavior, but I don't know when it comes out. Whoa. Um, and, movie star. And I'm just, I'm on the road quite a bit. So, I am Emma Wilman and come say hi. I would yes. love to say hi. Yeah, take it to see her. I'm touring the USA this year, so go to my website, jowingsummers.com, to get tickets. I'm going, I'm coming all over America, coming all over America. Yes, that's my intention. Um, follow me everywhere, Jowing Summers, if you can't find me. <sighs> I can't save you. Have a good day. Bye.